Okay, we got a timber jack here to work on. Nothing major, just a little bit of tinkering around with. This is from Finkelstein Logging. He's a jack. Okay, so I guess we're going to take a look at the battery box here. It's supposed to be sitting on the drive shaft or the steering cylinder or both, or it's just it's terrible. Well, let's take a look. Well, finally, it is sitting on the steering cylinder. Pretty rotted out. The battery is going right through the box right there. Oh, I'll have to check that out. I bet we're going to have to make a whole new box. I won't be satisfied with just fixing it. Looks like it's welded in. That's going to be great. Alright. We're going to do some welding. We'll have to unhook the batteries because I don't want to burn up the computer on this. Yeah, that's computer controlled. Okay. Thumb's kind of messing us up a little bit here, but. There's a. There's the battery box, the battery's out. She's kind of chattered. I think we'll just cut that out and build us a whole new one. Be a lot easier trying to fix this. The only problem is there's a lot of tinder in here to catch on fire. Some diesel soap twigs and sticks and shit. So we'll cut it out of there. See if he catches the bastard on fire. Okay, we got the battery box cut out of there. Just gonna make us a new one and put that in there. The other one is pretty bad. It was rubbing on the sitting on the steering cylinder. I gotta give the boy credit for telling the truth there. He was just making it up and just got lucky. So here's the rotted out one. Not much to work with. Looks pretty easy to build. So, got some dimensions here. We'll whip us out one new one. Be a little easier than trying to fix that thing. all cleaned up we're going to tack it up hopefully make it resemble that but way better and then we got to figure out what we're going to do for some uh, battery hold downs can't just use threaded rod that'd be just kind of hacker so we got to come up with something better than that maybe we'll have to thread up some of our own or I don't know okay so we got a battery tray done there's the new one there's the old one 
Hopefully the batteries fit. They should. And we're gonna weld that into the chassis of the machine. Let's see how that goes. Okay, we got our new battery box in place. I've already cobbled up my damn <coughs> tie down because I'm a jerk. Apparently the tie down is not symmetrical, as you can see. This one's in the center. That one's off center down there. I got them both in the center, so we're gonna have to probably fix this or maybe make a new one. I don't know. But that turned out pretty good. Well, it over my head. That's not the greatest, but I think it's in there pretty good. Okay, we got the battery box all in. The hold down worked. It's just these batteries are not the right batteries. So to keep it from arcing out on the hold down, I had to kind of put the hold down down below. But the batteries are in there nice and tight. Shouldn't arc out. Shouldn't arc out. Okay, so we got our battery box in there. We made the missing cover for here. Keep the trash from getting down in there. Got all our side panels re hinged with keepers on chains. So that'll be that. Got this one all rehung. Give me a little touch up paint. Okay, this is what we got. One of the projects left. We got to repack the cylinder. We got two kits. Apparently, there's two different ones you could have. The other thing we might have to get working is we might have to get this parking brake light working. The switch is bad. I've already played with it a little bit. Because if the switch was good, I'd had that working already. We got this little wire that becomes hot when the pressure switch, the internal pressure builds and closes the pressure switch. And that brings up power here to, I would assume, our light and our hour meter, neither of which are hooked up. Hour meter should be kind of handy to have hooked up if you were going to do any maintenance. So, okay, we did wire up our hour meter ran power to our park brake light indicator indicated light whatever you want to call it of course the bulb's bad I think the socket's bad and of course our switch doesn't work we've tested that before so I might have to give up on that because I can't seem to find that switch switch hooks to a spring pulls out I don't know what the hell you'd call that and then I have to find a bulb or light socket, which would not be too big a deal, but I'm kind of getting tired of this anyhow.